Hello, welcome back to Lori's Life. Today's recipe will be um, peppers, stuffed peppers. I'm going to get the ground beef ready. I made white rice and put butter in it. And I'm going to put a mystery microgreen on top. I will put onions, garlic, spices, tomato, rice and cheese inside the stuffed pepper and then I will bake it in the oven and um, sprinkle it with a mystery microgreen. I haven't decided yet. I did the um, kohlrabi this morning on my sandwich and I think I'm going to maybe try some kale on top. That might be, might be interesting. I will probably also be using a little beef broth. So, I'm going to season this ground beef a little bit. Put some salt. And some pepper. This is white pepper. Not that it matters. But okay, I'm going to let that cook and then we'll just add all the ingredients in the peppers. Okay, I'm back. The ground beef is all done. It's all browned. So I'm going to put that in my bowl so I can mix up the stuffing for the peppers. Here I have diced onions and diced tomato, vine ripe. Here I have um, Italian season, a cilantro, garlic, and taco seasoning because I didn't have any chili powder. And in the Italian seasoning is, um, what do we have in this? Thyme, oregano marjoram, basil, rosemary, and sage. So to that, I'm going to add some rice that I just cooked. And I put butter in it. I'm going to add a little bit of this um, Um, beef bouillon powder that I got just like a shake a little bit and instead of water I'm going to add why not right I'm just adding like a quarter cup, very little bit. That'll give it some nice flavor. I'm gonna mix that up now and then we can stuff the pepper. So Better Home and Garden Cookbook said to cook peppers 400 for about 45 minutes and I was always taught to um, add water to the pan so I'm putting it in this I've cut the top off the pepper it's a pretty big pepper and I only got one because I'm just cooking for one today but there's a lot of room in there so just make sure that's all mixed up good and then I'll start stuffing it after I add a little bit of Mexican cheese. I like mine cheesy. And that should be good. The oven's ready, so I'm just going to spoon it in. This 
So all you do is you just fill the pepper. I will have some leftovers, obviously. Maybe I'll stick it in a taco. Yeah, I should have got more peppers. Because I, I don't like to waste the, you know, the energy I use cooking in the oven. But it should be delicious. Alright, so there's plenty left over for a taco. Or two or three. <laughs> Maybe throw some olives in that. So good. Here we here we are sticking this in the oven 400 for 45 minutes. All right, it's out of the oven. For the last 10 minutes I add, I took it out and added more Mexican cheese. As you can see, beautiful, huh? All right. I can't wait to dig into this. Just got out of the oven, so it's going to be hot. So while we're waiting for that to cool off, I'm going to give you a little bear cap wisdom. Quietly work, let success speak. What does that mean? That means don't brag while you're becoming successful. Okay, now, where's my scissors? I decided not to do kale, but to do the, um, Sango Radish. I know it's not much, but these are hardier than the last batch. And hopefully the seeds that I sprinkled back on the pad will grow, getting them all. Because I have a ton of kale and a ton of broccoli, so I don't quite know, know what to do with those yet. But here goes. This is enough for two meals for me. It's how I eat. Oh, Tyson, no, I gave you your lunch. And cats don't eat green peppers. No. No, they don't. Let's try it. It's going to be hot. Mmm. Very subtle, but I like that I took this out a little bit early because I didn't want it to be too soggy or dry. It's just the way I like it. Like and, like and subscribe.